I know that this book launching program will be a type of mixed emotion because by looking and by hearing the title of the book, Food for the, Food for the Spiritual Growth, I feel like this book has, the author of this book has faced a lot of challenges, a moment of departure, a hard time, and a happy moment. So we will all have a mixed emotion together. I take this opportunity on my own behalf and on behalf of my family and also mostly my beloved wife. Welcome you all. It is indeed a great privilege for us. Without you, this would not be happened. So as invited, in spite of your busy schedules, you could spare your time to come and grace these occasions with prayer, <coughs> blessings and many more supports. It's indeed, we cannot just express beyond the words we explain. Today, we are giving this happy happy of the it's such a pleasure to be back here in Dimangwe. We are Kohima based, but every time I come down, it's because of a book release program, and it's such a pleasure. This is the second time that uh, we're working with uh, Afo Kakeli, and it's been a great pleasure publishing her twice. We actually go a very long uh, way back. Uh, her sister and I graduated together from Calcutta University and that was like almost 20 years ago I think and uh, we are more like family. Anyway, as you are aware, this is the second edition and revised one of Food for Spiritual Growth. The first edition was published in the year 2014, uh, a few months after Pantril was formally inaugurated. The first edition did extremely well that we ran out of copies in the very same year that we published. And from what I understand, there has been a lot of demand for this book over the years. I am glad the author has been able to work on a revised edition. We have also come up with a fresh new book cover for, the, for this edition. And it is my hope that this book will play a very significant role in shaping our spiritual well-being. We have just witnessed the state general elections, and it is really not my place to say this, but from the many stories that you hear about betrayal, the lack of loyalty across different party lines, even amongst voters, many of whose votes were bought, people in all of our villages who think, who actually think that there is nothing wrong in making some money out of the elections. I think these are all reflective of the spiritual state that the Naga people are in. Our people seem to have lost all sense of right and wrong. I mean, seriously, how do we expect the state to grow, prosper and develop when all we do is extract as much money as possible during the electoral process, much ahead of electing our representatives for the assembly constituency. All the unethical practices that our people indulge in during elections makes you wonder where we have gone wrong as a society. Having said that, as Christians, all of us need spiritual food and nourishment. And especially at a time like this, when the Naga society has broken into fragments by greed, selfishness, disloyalty, and temporal gains. The timing of this book could not have been more perfect. And it is my hope and prayer that it will bless many lives as readers read and unravel the blessings that are in store for each one of us. Thank you so much. She has been blessed with an amazing parent who deeply rooted her with the word of God. There were a moment where she found herself in a crossroad. 
weary, fragile, and uncertain. They were a woman where she had to leave her family when they needed her the most. But it is her faith in God that has brought her this far. She let it go of her story to fulfill his story. She is, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She opened her arms for the poor and extend her hand for the needy. And of all this, it's an evidence of God's movement through her life story. Now I would like to welcome Mrs. Kahali Inatojumo for Ultra's Note. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And once again, a very warm welcome to one and all. Thank you so very much. Helping me to realize by seeing all of you that God is so good to me by blessing so many wonderful people in my life. And I pray that God will bless all of you abundantly, immensely, beyond measure, for taking out your time to bless us with your prayer, with your gift, and most of all, with your presence. Thank you so much. I'm feeling so blessed, so humble. And uh, thank you, Miss Lita, for that uh, introduction or for that whatever she has said about me. <laughs> I'm becoming a little emotional. <laughs> thank you so much. And I also would like to thank our Reverend Dr. Kuwoto Sima. He is a very, very busy man. And sometimes I wonder whether he gets time to eat, eat his lunch and dinner, or sometimes I wonder whether he gets time to sleep because people will come to his house since early morning till night and he has to go here and there with lots of problems. But fortunately, this today, uh, as we were trying to schedule the timing, it was very fortunate for me and of course for the Ventry publication that he was freed at this hour. And so thank you so very much, Reverend Dr. Kuwoto, for being here to bless this occasion. Uh, as he comes, you will know him. He's very smart. He's very active. He's very energetic. He's very handsome. He's very stylish. <laughs> and people used to say, among the WS biggest up, women secretary, Madam Kahili and Reverend Kuwoto are the most stylish person. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as, uh, and thank you, Ms. Rita, and your team, and also from the media, uh, pers media person for taking out your time to be here. As Rita has mentioned, we are like a family members, my younger sister, Aboli Chishi, and they are, they are friends from maybe from college time, right? Yeah. So they, they became very good friends and they keep coming, visiting us. And so that's how we became very close again. That's why she calls me Afo. <laughs> and I love when people call me Afo actually. <laughs> so thank you so very much. This is the second time yes, I'm publishing from the Pantry publication. As she has mentioned, my first publication was in the year uh, 2014. And uh, as Lida has a chairperson has rightly mentioned a little bit of emotional uh, mixed feeling things also because in my first publication, uh, I'm sorry, my mom was there. My mom did the kidney transplant in 2013 and 2014 I published my first book and she was still very sick and uh, not very well recovered but they were there, my mom was there. And today again, thankfully, I have my stepmom here. Uh, my mom passed away five years back. She, tomorrow will be the fifth year of my mom's death anniversary. And then uh, after my mom left, we felt that we need another mother. And we were praying to God and we are so thankful to God that God bless my mommy here. So my mom and dad are here. We don't like to talk to yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So my mom and dad are here. It's all because of their prayer that I'm here today, publishing my second book. Uh, this food for spiritual growth is totally from my experiences, my relationship with God, my challenges, my traumas, you know, my spiritual fights, my battle. All these things were there. So this is a book from my personal experiences. 
So my first edition also it took a lot of time, and uh, this one came out because Madam Ajumla. I was working in the Salvation Bible College, and you know the author Madam Ajumla. She has written lots of books, and every time we were neighbor, every time she would tell me, "Okay, you should write a book. Okay, you should write everywhere, every time we meet, she would tell me." So that's how I was actually. I wasn't even thinking to write a book. But she keeps telling me every time, everywhere we meet, she will tell me. So that's motivated me. And in the first edition, also actually, I was acknowledging her, and today also. So then again, after that, when is your second book coming up? When is your second book coming up? Every time she will encourage me. So, but I was not taking very seriously, and I was quite satisfied with my first edition. But slowly, as Miss Rita has mentioned, amazingly. Uh, the book was sold in in just few months. All the books were sold, and I just had two copies with me now. Just two copies with me. I just kept ten copies for me, but slowly, slowly, from here and there, people really wanted it. But and people were telling me to produce another book, but I was not even thinking. But that was three years back. I visited one church, and uh, she is not a theological tree. But she's a women pastor, a very small church, and she told me that I am a women pastor here because of your book. She said, <laughs> "I read your book, and because of your book, that I can become a women pastor." That really motivated me. If this can do so much for people, I think I should also write something. And so that's how the second edition came up. Of course, there were so many people they wanted the book, but the book. Ran out, and then I asked the publishers, and they said they don't have a copy. Also, so I realized that I need to do the second edition. So in my second edition, I have added two more chapters. So we have twelve chapters, and uh, actually, the publisher has spent all the money. I have not spent any single money, and the publisher has uh, spent all the money. They have published it, and then they have fixed the rate, and then. I am also yet to see my book. <laughs> as as he has released the book, I'm going to see the book. And so, look, just like me, I'm also looking forward to see my book. <laughs> and uh, they have fixed the price, and then of course there are some royalty kind of things are there. But my RA is not to get the business and get lots of you know like a profit from this book. But our aim is. To let the readers be blessed through the book. That's my main aim. And my first edition was that if I get little profit, then we thought that this would go for charity work. And uh, fortunately, uh, we are so happy that at least we could do some. We could do the admission for some poor students from the book that we sell, from the profit that we got. And this time also, any single profit, any little profit that we get, of course. Uh, the the bigger the bigger side will go from the, to the publisher side, but I'll get my royalty, <laughs> some person. <laughs> so from the royalty which I get, I have in mind to do another charity work. I I will not say that this this that, but I always love helping people in my own small way. And so this book is not to profit for myself, but to go towards the charity work again. So I pray that this book will bless all of us as we go through it. As I said, this is totally from my experiences, and so I pray, I earnestly pray that this, even this second edition, is going to bless lots of people. And then uh, the publishers, I think they have brought some books. So many books are here, uh, right? This is for sale, right? <laughs> yeah. So you can grab a copy. Pentry Publication is doing. Uh, Commendable job, respectable job, and then it is always good to keep in touch with them also by being by buying a book for them. So you can buy a book from there, and then uh, my book also I think it will be on sale, right? <laughs> being the author, I have to ask to everything from the publisher. So we will be very grateful if you can grab uh, just a copy for yourself, or if not, uh, maybe a gift for for your anybody friends or whoever. So. Thank you once again. Thank you so very much, and thank you, Reverend Doctor Kowoto, for giving us this hall. Also, this is called Hejedo Hall. This is a council meeting hall where we can, where we take all the important decisions and where we used to have a prayer of blessing here. 
So those of you who are here, definitely God will bless you abundantly. Enjoy the program. Thank you so very much. God bless all of us. Amen. Now welcome our ES Executive Secretary, W.S. Baker, Reverend Dr. Porto, for dedication and release of food for the spiritual growth. All honor and glory be to God. Thank you so much. And uh, congratulations to Mrs. Kakami Inato Jumomi for bringing all of us together here in this auspicious gathering. I, as a servant of God, the W.S. Baker, authority vested on me by W.S. Baker, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I dedicate this book and release this book from today. God bless this book in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Food for spiritual growth. Kakani Inato Jumomi. Okay, maybe we will have this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the first copy will go to our Chief guest, or guest of honor, or whatever, <laughs> special guest. So, this is for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I almost locked out when our chairperson started uh, describing about our author. I have a story. In 1982, <coughs> I took a Bible school students of here in 1983 for a practical tour. The Bible school students. So it, ha it so happened that a person prepared a testimony and one of his friends stolen this uh, testimony <laughs> and shared before the man who prepared. Then Right after the service, the man was weeping, crying. I said, what happened? I prepared the cell on my testimony, and my friend has stolen and she has shared. <laughs> like the way I thought of uh, describing our... <laughs> All what I was about to say, she has done So, anyway, Add with her in the, just a word or two. Mrs. Krakeli is a woman of faith. And she is a woman of action. She is not only with her faith and action, but she sings so beautifully as you have heard. And then she has a, so many gifts which God has given her, and with that given gift, she is serving the Lord. So I wish you all the best, and as you continue to serve the Lord. And once again, I give you congratulations for this book. I, yesterday, she asked me, I think I will expect you to speak something to address the congregation. So I said, okay, but I have never taught anything just after coming here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I should speak. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I will take long, but I just will work. We talk about gospel. And when we say gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, that we call it the uh, gospel. But to me, of course, that is gospel too. But I always say, giving is a good gospel. And beside that, you know, coming up with a book is not an easy task. 
It's not an easy task. And then putting up in writing. And this is a very toughest job. And why? Putting all the thoughts together and making available the word of God to the readers. That is truly a gospel. Therefore, this is not just a, a book, but this is a gospel where the readers will enrich their faith. They will grow deeper spiritual life. Therefore, I would say these writings are the gospels. So my wish and my prayer is whoever reads this book will be a big blessing. Not only to the readers, but to the writers and to the publications. God bless you all.